Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome to the Soul Drop channel. And today we're gonna be doing shoe awards. So of course, this is my award show for hoop shoes of 2022. And of course I had to break it down with, you know, the best categories. And also not only the best categories, we also have the worst categories. And if you guys do wanna cop any of these shoes, I try to leave an affiliate link in the description box. 2022 has been a, it went by very quickly, I'll tell you that much, but um, it's been pretty rough, especially for the past couple of months. And I just wanna say thank you so much for the support, guys. You know, everything that happened with uh, the other channel and now uh, me making the soul drop. Uh, but yeah, I, I very much appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all the support and all the uh, kind things that you ha you guys have said to me, even on the DMs and the comments and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I, I love you guys, you know what I mean? But anyways, let's get this shoe awards started right off with the best performance and i can't choose just one shoe guys i am so sorry so i have four shoes <laughs> that i really like to play in right now you know what i mean so as far as best performance goes in my personal opinion we got the lebron 20 of course lebron 20 amazing looking shoe and amazing performer you know traction is top tier cushion also is very very nice with the cushion your full length cushion is soft in the heel and then zoom turbo unit in the forefoot feels great material is thin supports great and all that so lebron 20 i absolutely love playing that shoe next we also have the wild 10 the wild 10 is an amazing performer it just sucks that the lebron 20 and the wild 10 are just so damn expensive but if you don't mind spending that bread if you don't mind spending that money and you're just like rolling in the dough you don't care uh, the wild 10 is amazing as well you know I, I i definitely feel like the cushioning setup is even better than lebron 20. you know it's more subtle but also like with that full length boom right underneath the foot you get that crazy compression and it's not crazy actually it's just a nice subtle compression and bounce which feels great it's still responsive still has nice compression and impact protection Great core feel and all that. Material is super thin, but also very supportive shoe overall. Traction is great as well. I wouldn't say it's top tier, like it's not as good as like the LeBron 20, but it's still very, very solid. Next, we got the PG6, you know, amazing shoe. I love that shoe. I need to get more colorways. You know, I only have one, which I'm super sad about. I guess I am waiting for it to go on sale, but I, I feel like I haven't seen it go on sale, like crazy sale, you know what I mean? But anyways, PG6, Amazing shoe as well. And last but not least, we got the 808 2. The Waveway 808 2 is definitely uh, up there as well. It, it performs very similarly to like the Kobe 9, Kobe 8s and stuff like that. It's got a drop in midsole, which feels great. Traction is top tier, supports great and all that. Um, so yeah, the 808 2 is also uh, up there. So I'm sorry, um, I couldn't just pick one. I got four shoes in the best performer category in the shoe awards. So, uh, there's that next we got the worst performer right so i'm playing in the ag3 right now and it's not looking so good guys so the ag3 super duper stiff shoe like crazy stiff the sole of the shoe is super stiff the material overall is very stiff it's uncomfortable cushion also isn't great you know what i mean you would think that because of the thicker cushion be, you know, like it does not have good core feel like you're super high up off the ground and because of that you would think you know because of the thicker foam you would have nice compression and soft it's actually not you know traction also is not that nice super heavy shoe as well so ag3 uh, not great and also the Kyrie fly trap 6 is pretty not good <laughs> you know what i mean so it definitely sucks because a uh, fly trap line you know when, when it started like the one two and three was just so good you know but after that it's been eh uh, but the six you know not great traction cushion it sucks uh not great core feel but also like the foam is super stiff and the four vis zoom in is not very nice you know materials super cheap and, and like pretty stiff on foot so yeah the fly trap six is also on that list which sucks you know uh, but I feel like every other shoe has been pretty nice. So uh, I guess that's good. Next, we got the best looking shoe, best aesthetics. And we got the LeBron 20. And the LeBron 20 is definitely up there. I just love the simple look. A lot of you guys are saying it, they copied Kobe's design. And I guess I, I definitely do see that. But I'm not mad at it because Kobe's look amazing. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah, it's just LeBron 20. It looks like a Kobe, but with better cushion. You know what I mean? So uh, that's definitely up there. And then my kind of like consolation or runner up is 
right here the the a leaning jb1 jimmy butler signature shoe i don't know what it is it kind of reminds me of like old school Kyrie's, especially with that teeth design from the outsole right but yeah the jb1 looks great and also is an amazing performer so uh there's my two for the best looking and then the ugliest <laughs> um yeah is definitely definitely the jordan one take four Right, Russell Westbrook's takedown model. The three looked really good. I don't know what they, I mean, even the, the one looked good. The two looked great, uh, but I don't know what happened with the four. The four looks so bad. It looks very cheap, you know, like super duper cheap. And just honestly, it's, it's just ugly. <laughs> so there's that. And then uh, my consolation is the G4. I mean, the colorway that I have looks amazing, but yeah, it's the colorway. Uh, the overall aesthetic and like every other colorway of that shoe, I feel like is not that nice. So uh, there's the Don issue for next category. We got the best traction and uh, my pick is the PG6. You know, my shoe, like, like my colorway is absolutely amazing. It's the most consistent on like whatever surface I'm playing on, you know, like whatever court, you know, and also whatever court condition I'm playing on, it always has an amazing bite. So a uh, PG6 is definitely, definitely up there. And then next we got the 808 2. The 808 2 is also an amazing uh, performer because of the amazing traction. You have an amazing bite, very minimal dust pickup. It just bites through a lot of dust as well. And also super durable. You know, I feel like you should be able to play uh, with the 808 2 on outdoor court. So uh, there's the best traction best cushion so this is heavily subjective because cushion is super subjective you know uh, some people might want something super soft some people might want something very bouncy and some people might want something very responsive right but in my personal opinion uh, i love i love the wild 10 cushion the cushion in that chew is so damn nice because it just blends everything well like super well you know what i mean like so as far as responsiveness goes step and comfort impact protection court feel bounce you know comfort it does all of that and blends it in like very very well because of that boom kind of like midsole you know what i mean so although it is caged the cage is actually not that stiff it's actually like a softer plastic and then the boom right underneath your foot you have a nice subtle bounce and compression because of this like strobe board the strobe board uses like a mesh material and it's super soft um so yeah it, it feels great in a wild 10 i feel like way of weight is killing it for cushion because my my runner up is the all city 10 v2 same thing they have that very soft strobe board with uh, that boom right full length boom right underneath your foot so it feels very similar to the wild 10 and yeah, it just feels uh, really, really good. You know, got that subtle uh, compression and bounce right underneath the foot. You also have like a little bit more compression than the Wild 10 because you have that cloud kind of like outer carrier. Uh, but impact protection is great. You get nice bounce, and court fuel, and just an overall great cushion setup. So those two, very, very nice for cushion. Next, we got the best budget shoe in that PG6. It's 110 bucks, you know, and my cutoff for budget is like 120 bucks. So it kind of barely makes a cutoff, but it's still like on the cheaper side of things, especially comparing to like very expensive shoes, you know, signature shoes like the LeBron 20, which is 200 bucks and the Wild 10, which is like 200, some 20 bucks or something like that. So PG6, amazing, amazing budget shoe. And next we got an Adidas shoe, which is the Dame Certified. Uh, 95 bucks and overall super solid shoe, uh, amazing traction also very very nice cushioning setup if you want something responsive and low to the ground but the bounce foam still has a little bit of compression and bounce in the heel which is still pretty nice so there's that next we got the best bang for your buck which is like great performer but also you get very very nice tech for the price and my pick is the 808 too so you get you know you got that drop and it like reminds me a lot of the kobe eight and Kobe nine which is a very expensive shoe so uh, you know the 8082 is only 120 bucks and so that's why it's uh, a very good bang for your buck shoe next we got a disappointing shoe so shoes that i was super disappointed in and which is the Kyrie fly trap six because you know i mean i guess coming from the Kyrie fly trap five i wasn't expecting that much you know what i mean but the fly trap line like i said it has or in the past was super good so uh yeah i'm I was very disappointed in the Fly Trap 6. And next, we got the Zoom GT Cut 2, which is not a bad performer, but coming from the Zoom GT Cut 1, the original one, which is an amazing shoe to play in, it definitely was a disappointment for me personally because uh, compared to that shoe, I definitely did not like the GT Cut 2, right? 
All right, next we got the best ventilation, which is easily the Jordan 37 with the crazy Lena weave material. I mean, you can definitely, you can see through that material. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, nothing's beating the Jordan 37 for ventilation. Next, we got the lightest shoe, which is like usually budget shoes because budget shoes lack tech. And when a shoe lacks tech, it's usually very light, right? So we got the Nike Precision 6, which is a very cheap shoe. Also a very nice performer, but it comes in at 10.16 ounces, which is extremely, extremely light. And then as far as consolation goes, we got the Curry 1 Floatro. I kind of wanted to add like a, a signature shoe to it um, because, you know, signature shoes usually have a lot of tech in it, which makes it a little bit more on the heavier side of things or like average weight, you know? But the Curry 1 Floatro is 10.72 ounces, which is still extremely, extremely light. And last but not least, we got the most surprising shoe, the shoe that surprised me the most because I wasn't expecting much from this uh, shoe was the Wave Away 808 2. I actually didn't even know this shoe came out. You know, thank you to you guys for telling me about this. You know, you got a lot of you guys actually DM'd me on Instagram and you were like, dude, check this shoe out. You know, it has a drop in midsole like the Kobe's and uh, it looks very nice, so try it out. So I was like, all right, I'll try it out. And I got it, I wasn't expecting much, honestly, but I tried it on, I played it, and I was like, yo, this is so damn nice. I was super surprised um, because, you know, it's, a, it's an amazing performer and also has a pretty damn good price. Uh, so yeah, that about concludes my shoe awards for this year of 2022. I'm expecting a lot for 2023. And again, thank you guys so much for supporting me. I uh, appreciate every single one of you. Uh, and also, again, if you guys do want to cop any of these shoes, just try to leave an affiliate link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.